Nowhere regulations stipulate that no artifacts can be removed from a site unless they're threatened, like Warren said earlier. In this case, no archaeologist Tane Cassily has to document the artifact. He has to measure it in, and he has to photograph it exactly as he's found it before he carefully retrieves it from the deck and places it into a lift bag for transport to the surface. This lift or, or carry bag, really, is what it is, keeps the artifact not only safe, it also keeps it wet, because the moment it hits the surface, if it starts to dry, it'll begin to disintegrate and fall apart, and that simply can't happen. So Tani, once he has all of this work done, is now lifting the artifact, and as you can see, that dart-like object is a taffrail log. It's a marine speedometer, and its type indicates that it most probably dates to the period when Canada was in the service of the country she was named for. Once the artifact was placed in the bag, it was just a simple matter of preparing the diver to carry it to the surface. And so we assembled. We prepared for our ascent through the 120, 220 feet of water to the surface. We knew it would be a long and arduous decompression. But, as fate would have it, uh, just as we were about to ascend, I dropped my weight belt. Now, normally that's not a big deal. If you grab your weight belt quickly at depth, uh, you're not terribly buoyant. If you can control yourself, you can get a hold of the weight belt. Just a matter of slipping it back on place and doing up the buckle. And uh, normally that's not a big deal. But given the fact that we're wearing a lot of tech diving equipment, the sling bottles, reels uh, for ascending lift bags, and the lift bags themselves, it really is quite a difficult task to get the weight belt back around you. Losing a weight belt on a deep technical dive like this could be a very dangerous situation. If you tried to do the midwater decompression that we were scheduled to do without a weight belt, you would most definitely skyrocket to the surface, omitting all your decompression, and almost definitely suffer the bends, which could be very serious, if not fatal. But um, we got the weight belt back around, <laughs> but what I didn't realize is that the buckle was actually damaged. So it was impossible to do it back up. Simple solution. Retrieve the artifact from the bag, have the safety diver take it to the surface, place my weight belt in the carry bag, clip it off to my body, and begin our ascent and decompression. You can see here we're doing a free drifting decompression because the currents in this area of Florida Keys can change very rapidly. So what we did, we shot a lift bag to the surface with a reel and we had the dive boat just chase us as we drifted to complete our decompression.